today we're going to start in standing for our free movement check-in. So in a standing position, you can step in place a few times just to sort of even out your feet. And then you're going to close your eyes. Deepen your breath. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale out your mouth. And we'll start with the body scan down at your feet. Noticing where your body weight is distributed in your feet, where the pressure of the floor is most noticeable. Right foot versus the left, front of the foot, the back of the foot, inside to the outside. Moving up to the leg bones, to the shins, noticing are they in the same plane, left to right? Perhaps there's a rotation of them orienting your bone towards the midline or away from the midline. Moving into your knees, noticing are your knees in the same plane? Where are they stacked on top of your feet and ankles? Moving up to your thighs, does it, know, does it feel like your quads are holding on really active or just active enough or completely relaxed? Are your thigh bones straight? pointing straight ahead or slightly turned in towards each other, slightly turned up. Moving in into your pelvis, noticing how much tension you have around the bottom of your pelvic floor, backside of your pelvic floor. Noticing does it feel like your pelvis is slightly tipping forward, placed on top of your leg bones, or slightly tipping back, hanging on the backside of your leg bones. Notice where you feel at the base of your support, support of your base of support in your foot while thinking about your pelvis. Traveling up the body into the spine, noticing how does your spine feel? Are you really aware of the curves front to back? Are there any curves side to side? Does it feel like you're holding yourself up or do you feel pretty stacked on top of your legs, your pelvis? Keeping your breath just a little, inhaling through the nose, and noticing where the breath goes today. Moving into the head and neck, noticing if you feel any tensions. Does it feel like you're holding your head up, or is it placed on top of your spine, on top of your pelvis, on top of your legs, on top of your feet? If you drew a line out from your nose, would it be parallel to the ground, or slightly down, or slightly? Feel your ear holes are level in the same plane. Noticing your upper extremities, your shoulders, tips of your shoulders, are they level with each other in the same plane, same distance from the floor? Are you more aware, less aware of one collarbone, one cloud pointing to the other, the shoulder blade pointing to the other? If I look at you from the back side, what I see your palms, your pinkies, or your thumbs, or your hands on the side of your body, towards the back, or in front of you. Is the distance from your fingertips the same from the ground on the right or the to the left? Just taking notes. From here, you're going to keep your eyes closed, and we're going to play around with our weight shifting. So feel the gust of wind develop behind your back, like it's pushing you forward on your feet. Notice how far you can lean forward and lean and lean and lean before you want to bend with your hips or lift your heels off the ground or hyperextend your knees. And then let that wind die down and feel yourself travel back to the center. Now feel the wind pick up from the left side, pushing you to the right, right side of your body. Your whole body leans to the right. Noticing how that Weight shift is accommodated in your feet and then all the way up your core, even in your head and neck. Let that wind die down to the left. Start to pick up on the right, pushing you over towards the left. Your total body lean to the left. Notice how that weight shift switches on your feet. You can move to the center. And then shift your body weight back towards your heels. Notice how far you can go back on your heels before your toes want to lift up to prevent you from falling. And again, back to the center and back forward. We 
you can open your eyes if you'd like here, and you're gonna go into that forward position and then around the circle using your weight shift all the way around to the left, back to the center, and then reverse it, going left, back, right. Maybe try a figure eight. Right front, back left. Right uh, front left, back right. Front right, back left. Front left, back right. Front right, and reverse it. Back right, front left, back left. Awesome. And then bring yourself back to the center. From here, you're going to head, go ahead and turn and face the short edge of your mat if you're not already. And you're going to reach your arms up overhead, growing tall up side body, lengthen through by connecting your heels and toes to the ground, keeping your knees simply for you on your feet. Exhale your arms at your side and then roll down one bone at a time, rolling up and over each spinal segment as if your garage door or looking up and over a small fence in front. Widen your sit bones, allow your sit bones to slide up the head of your thigh and then down the front. Keep your weight 60 40 on your feet, bend your knees and let your feet to allow that to happen. Inhale here and on the exhale, connect your heels to the ground, keep the toes in the ground, send your sit bones down the back of your legs and your tail forward. And then roll your body back up one bone at a time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And then nod your chin, soften your sternum, roll down. Rolling. By lifting each spinal segment up and forward, let like your garage door opening up. Following with your pelvis, lifting up and over the front edges of your feet and your thigh bones. Bend your knees as much as you need to to keep your weight 60 40. Inhale here and on the exhale, roll up one more time. From here, lift your arms up. Exhale your arms back down. You're going to take one step forward with your left leg. If you know you need a bolster, make sure it's close. We're going to go into a hot kneeling position. <sighs> so from here, your legs are going to be hip bone or shoulder width apart, pelvis width apart. And then you're going to rise up on your back heel. No, rise your back heel up so you're on your toe. And then lower down, bringing your left knee to the ground. I know I need to modify with a lift, but this is where I'm just going to place my lift halfway here. Adjust your stance if you need to. Nice tall half kneeling. You're going to take your left arm inside your left leg, press your left knee into your left hand, bring your right arm up, fall towards the ceiling, and then on an exhale, you're going to side bend to the left, keeping your right hip directly over your knee, not letting it slide out towards the left. And now here. And on the exhale, return to center. Bring both arms forward, and then on the next exhale, Bring your left hand back along your chest and open up towards the left, coming into a left rotation, left half heel position. Inhale. And then on the exhale, return to center. From here, you're going to inhale your arms up overhead. Try to keep them overhead. Connect your back toe joints to the ground. And then rise up into that split stance position. From here, widen the sit bones, bow forward, keeping a flat back as much as you need, uh, as long as you can, to fold forward over your legs. Bend your front knee if needed slightly, 
to connect into your foot and push through your heel to send your pelvis back. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to your hip joints. And then rise back up. Unhinge your neck. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, bend the back leg and lower back down to half knee. Bring the left hand on the inside of the left leg. Lock it in, pushing the knee into the hand and the head in the knee. Reach the right arm up. And side bend over to the left. Checking in with the right hip, making sure that you haven't rotated. You slid out to the right side of the mat. Inhale here. On the exhale, back to center, bring both hands in front of you. Inhale for length, widen your sit bones. Exhale, sweep your left arm across your chest to rotate to the left. Inhale for width. Exhale, return to center, rise your legs up. Connect into your back toe joints and then rise straight up. Straight leg forward fold. Widen the sit bones. Keep the base of the skull lifted as you fold down forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to in front to get your hands down or you flop on either side of your leg. Connect the tips of your toes and your heels into the ground on the front leg. Press your pelvis back space towards the back of your mat. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to your hip joints, and then rise back up. Step your right leg to meet your left. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, arms down, roll down, one bone at a time. Lifting up and over like a garage door, keeping your weight 60, 40 on your feet. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, just hang by grabbing opposite elbows. From here, let go of your elbows. Take another inhale breath for width. On the exhale, connect your heels and the pads of your toes. Send your sit bones down the back of your legs. Your tailbone through. Roll up one bone at a time. This time, you're going to step back with the left leg. Coming into that split stance. And then lower your knee down onto the ground or onto your bolster. From here, inhale, widen your sit bones. Bring your left, your right arm inside your right leg. Lock it in by pressing your right knee into the hand, hand into the knee. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling and then side bend to the right, making sure that your left pelvis doesn't swing out to the left side. Inhale for length. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, arms come to the front, widen your sit bones. And then on the exhale, bring your right hand towards your chest and then spin your pelvis, your trunk open to the right, reaching your left fingertips away, your right fingertips back. Inhale for length. Exhale, return to center. Widen the sit bones. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, connect into the back. Toe joints connect to your front leg and then stand up, coming straight up. Here, bring your hands back to your hips. Widen your sit bones as you hinge forward. Bend your front knee if you need to to accommodate the tight hips. Or bring blocks down to either leg. From here, connect your feet into the ground to send your pelvis back to the back side of your mat. And then exhale, return. Reach your arms back forward and then lower your legs down. Right arm inside right leg. Left arm reaches towards the ceiling. Side bend to the right. Inhaling for length between the left knee and the left fingertip. Exhale back to center. Inhale, arms out in front. Widen your sit bones. On the exhale, bring the right hand to the chest and then spin the chest open to the right, reaching the left hand forward and the right hand back. Inhale for width, widen your sit bones, widen your rib cage. Exhale, return, facing the short edge of your mat. Inhale, arms up, widen the sit bones, connect into your feet and the back toe joints, and then rise straight up. Keep your legs straight, bring your hands to your hip joints. Hinge forward, keeping the base of the skull lifted. Bring your hands down on either side of your foot if you can. Bend the front knee if you need to. Keeping a flat back, wide sit bones connected to your foot. And send your 
pelvis back. To the back, edge of the mat. Inhale here. Bring your hands to your hips. Exhale. Stand back up. Inhale. Step your left foot to meet your right. Arms come up. And then exhale. Arms down. Roll down. Walk the way out of the mat. Each spinal segment puts up towards the ceiling and then forward. As if it is a garage door opening. Lift your pelvis up and over the front part of your hip joint. Keeping your weight 60 40. Pause here, grab your elbows if you would like, adding a little bit of traction to your upper back. Take a nice big inhale breath. Keep connected with the inside of your feet. And then exhale, roll up one more another time. From here, you're going to step your right leg back, coming back down into a half kneel position. You're going to spin the right leg so it's parallel to the shorter of the mat. Rotate to the right, widen your sit bones, bend down in a half kneeling rotated down dog. Pause here. Let your left knee come more forward over your left foot. Press your hands into the floor and press your hips back towards the right foot. Inhale here. Exhale, walk yourself back up. Spin the right leg back around. Bring the left knee to meet the right in a tall kneeling position. Slightly shift your weight to the left. Step your right leg through. Spin your left shin around facing the shorter of the mat. Rotate open, facing the left. From here, inhale, widen your sit bones, and exhale, lower down into a half kneeling rotated down dog. Let your right knees come more forward over your right foot. Press into the ground and press your hips back towards your left foot. Inhale for length of the side body, and exhale, press and see if you can get your hips back in your partner. Inhale again for width, and then exhale. Roll yourself back up into that rotated half feeling. Spin your back leg around. Bring your right leg back into a tall kneeling position. Hook your toes under so you're in a toe sit. Grab a prop if you need it to make that toe sit position more accessible. From here, you're going to rock back into your toe sit to a full squat. Again, I'll show a more modification where I press my hands down and rock back. Now I'm going to switch my prop to the end of my heels. So I can work on getting my chest up a little bit. From here, I'm going to reach my arms up and then follow my arms, press into my feet, and stand straight up like I did from half the Inhale, exhale, arms down by your side, and then roll down one more at a time, lifting up and over the head of the feet. Move your prop back for your knee if you're like me. Inhale, halfway lift. Then on the exhale, walk your hands forward, lift your knees up, I mean, lift your heels up, and then lower your knees down to the floor. Rise up and tall kneeling. Sit back toward your heels and then rock back to your squat. Place your hands down. Transition with the help of your hands if you need it. Place your heels on a prop also if you need it for a full squat. Connect the inside edges of your feet and inner thighs. Rise your arms up. Follow your inhale breath. Reaching it up and then exhale. Press into the floor and rise straight up. Arms back down by your side. Walk your legs in place one more time. I'll turn to the camera for our final check-in. So from here, close your eyes, deepen your breath just a little bit. Exhale out your mouth. Starting at your feet. Noticing where the base of support is. On your feet, 
right side to the left side, front to back, inside edge to outside edge of your feet. Moving up, notice the lower leg bones. Where do they feel in relationship to the weight bearing surfaces of your feet? Where do they feel in relationship to each other? Are they in the same plane? Are they rotated towards the center, straight ahead, or out? Moving up towards your knees, are your knee joints stacked on top of your feet and ankles where the weight bearing centers are? Do they feel in the same plane? Moving up to the thighs, same thing, are they in the same plane? Are the bones slightly rotated in towards each other, straight ahead or out? Moving into the pelvis, noticing any tension you have around the bottom, back side, or the front. Does it feel like your pelvis is stacked on top of your legs? Moving into your spine. How much of the curves of your spine do you notice? Do you feel like you have a gentle ride on those curves or you're holding yourself up in a flat spine? You notice any curves to the right or left or just front to back. Slightly deepen your breath through the nose and notice where your breath goes now. Moving into your head and neck, notice if you have any tension. Does it feel like your head is placed perfectly on top of where your weight bearing surface of your feet are? Are you holding it up? Where is it in a relationship to the pelvis? Spine, the knees, the feet. You drew a line out from your nostrils. You'll be parallel to the ground, slightly up towards the sky or down towards the floor. Checking in with your upper extremity. Do you notice your collarbones on the right or left more? Shoulder blades, right or left. The tips of your shoulders level in the same plane. If I look behind you and I see your thumbs, your palms, or your pinky. Just checking in and comparing beginning to end, right to left, front to back. Labeling what you like with a positive word so your brain has a chance to remember it and replicate it for the future. Perhaps at the end of the session you feel taller, lighter, aligned, connected. Perhaps it feels like you're standing effortlessly, just stacked and ready for it movement or stillness. Whatever it is, know that that is exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment at the end of your practice. Take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to follow, placed on top. Slightly bow your head down, bowing to yourself. Give you so much gratitude for your body, your breath, your awareness, your ability to create change in your body through movement, change in your mind through movement, and change in your spirit through movement. What a gift we have within us. We are able to access it anytime. It just requires us to slow down and to choose to show up, choose to be here for ourselves, thank ourselves. Kindness and love. Thank you for joining me.